Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. Gonna be playing Kane versus Brand, Brand the Immortal, the Impossible, the Juggernaut, the Thanos of jungle. Anyways, I'm running Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Relentless, and then Magical Footwear and Approach Velocity. Approach Velocity being the super underrated rune for Mr. Kane. With this playstyle too, we're definitely gonna be full clearing into just one play. Our one play being a gank bot lane. A gank bot lane we have set up for Mercon, and it's Lulu Twitch, aka two ranged champions. That's going to make it where I can get my blue form a whole lot easier. If I happen to run into Brand 2, then this should be alright, because I'll be able to get some orbs and get out of there. Especially be able to get out of there because we're running the Ghost. We run the Ghost for two reasons. Helps us with flanks on the bot lane, and then also, and then Mr. Brand runs Ghost, so we want to be able to stay on top of him, actually land our auto attacks, or our Q. The more autos you get, the more instances of damage you get, therefore the more orbs you get as well. And then with Dark Harvest Sun and Impact, I know a lot of people ask about like the Summon Airy page. I haven't really ran the Summon Airy page. I also just think like Dark Harvest is a bit more versatile as it gives you the Domination Tree. The Domination Tree being very useful. Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter, I like all these things. Summon Airy? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Early game damage, just this champagne's not about the early game. That's the thing. But you get your form faster. I don't need my form that fast. You know, I need my form by like 12 minutes or something. I don't need it at 8. Doesn't really change anything. At least if you're playing jungle correctly, question mark? Like, if you're farming at all. If you're not against the worst players ever to do it, like, that's just my preference. Because on that level 8 turn, right? The, the level 7 going into level 8 and a half that you then go level 9 on second reset. Like, it's all about getting the farm on that turn, so who cared if, if I had form or not? Oh, yeah, yeah, because you just keep attacking the enemy every single time? Alrighty, Shadow Box is one, and that's why Dark Harvest is better or something. Finishing up my clear here. Kind of sucks where Rakan has roamed and then Vayne is reset. I want to get my gank off bot lane, but even if that's not there, I can always just reset and then regank it level five next turn. Auto, moving, auto, smite. We don't know yeah, if Lulu's here or not. E, moving. So what we're going to do is cross through, go get that top side scuttle, and then work from there. Even though these guys are here, it doesn't really matter. The play is too slow at that point. Because my raptors are respawning around 410. Yeah, I need to get to this topside scuttle and get the hell out of here. We might have a Darius problem here, but I should have enough time. This is where Kane's E totally owns. Hello, guys. Hide my raptors from the enemy team. Nice, Brand is stupid. He should know that the Scuttle's gone if he looked at my CS. And then try to contest my Raptors. That's where Brand is super lame, he's a ranged champ, he can just walk up and do that. These guys are fighting off my tempo again. So no orbs for me, but I'll be getting a lot of farm here. And the benefit of getting all of our farm, as we've been doing this, is that we're getting more gold. And as we reset, we're going to be able to spend that gold, and every single time, you're going to be spending that gold on some AD on Kane. And the more AD you have, the more damage we're dealing. The more damage you deal, the more orbs that you get. Okay, so let's reset to our bot side and get level 5. Serrated Dirk and then Sweeper. Rest in peace, guys. I'm thinking Hubris. Hubris is pretty good stats for Kane. 60 AD, 18 Lethality, and 15 Ability Haste. Getting Ability Haste from a Lethality item is a bit harder now, so... Hubris is one of those items that gives you it. It's also cheaper than the Profane Hydra. Profane Hydra is a very good item, but it's more expensive. I'd rather have a cheaper item that lets me get to the next one faster, and then really play for my two item spike, rather than playing for a one item spike. Now they're doing the Void Grubs, but since I did my path like this where I start topside, do a double full clear and reset, I'm going to be able to take his red side camps for him doing the Void Grubs. So we do our wolves and then bang, right into his raptors. Ugh. Auto. Moving. Come on, jungle pet. Bang. Smite. Oh, it would have been nice to have a control ward, huh? So if you play for the opposite side of the map, rather than trying to contest stuff that you can't win, then you can actually get some gold for once. Guys, once again, just... You're doing it too fast. Well, if you just attacked him... Hey, man. E. Moving. Auto, Q, Auto, W. 
Got some orbs for me, finally. And switch his zone, so let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. Cute. Yeah, 0 3 mid lane. <laughs> 0 3, well played. If I do one camp, I'm level 6. And then where do you think Brand is? You got me. I can try to cheese them here, though. Since we're bot side, might as well keep spending our time down here. Come on, reset right there. Yes. E, moving. Q, W. Oh, auto. Nice, auto. Yes. Q damage that whole wave, and let's go ahead and reset. We got a lot of gold. Instead of walking all the way back to the Gromp like that. Ah, I have to help these guys shove. Vayne, Rakan, no wave clear. Nice. Good job, Mr. Rakan. I love you. So we get the level 6, we get our orbs, and we get a bunch of gold. That gold's going to go right into Caulfield's Warhammer. This item is super, super good for Kane. It gives you 25 AD and 10 ability haste. That 10 ability haste means more ulti, more Q. The Q is everything, Bob. It's your clear speed and it's your damage. And especially in a fight, you're always waiting for that second Q in the early game. Because you're not going to one-shot them just yet. And then even if we're not killing with that second Q, it's giving us more orbs that will give us our form faster. And therefore get us online. So as we're like we're near that eight minute mark, right? Maybe if we had summon Ari and skipped like two rotations of our camps and had 36 CS, I could have form right now. To which I ask, why would I want that? And that's summon Ari. Alright, so we're gonna full clear towards bot. And then try to gank bottling again. With our ulti, we now have another instance of damage, as well as a dodge tool, so... The ulti is a dash, it's a dodge move because you become untargetable, and it also buys you time because you get to wait for your cooldowns to come back up. Alrighty, they get dragon. Congratulations. Let's see, we need about 400 for the completed hubris. I can pretty much assume that somewhere, whoa, somewhere in my blue side is warded. Moving down, you know, this play is going to happen without us at this point. Q moving, but like not ghosting just yet. There's that Pantheon ulti. There's Mr. Brand. There goes my bot lane. When they dive right into him, quite literally just running at them. It creates a pretty hard dynamic for me to do anything. So instead of overreaching here, trying to find the brand against the Pantheon, I don't need that play, you know? My team fought off my tempo, so I'll just farm my blue buff, get hubris, and reset, and then look for a fight. Then look for something, because I can always attack brand in his blue side, rather than trying to take the fight into his red side. I have to deal with Pantheon, and I would have to deal with his bot lane resetting there. Hubris and to the top side. So Hubris, 60 AD, 18 Lethality, 15 Ability Haste. And then the passive Ego, killing a champion creates a statue. And then the passive Eminence, when you when you kill someone, you get plus 15 plus 2 AD per statue that you have. So you Snowball, you get more AD, and you get more AD for the more kills that you've had. Hello guys, I would love to get blue form right here. I would love it. Any teammates? At the very least, I can smite. Oh, I can try to help you escape here. <laughs> I give him the dash over the wall. Mordecai's are ulting. Oh, jeez, there's a twitch. Ghost, moving. Auto, ulti. Yeah, you can't hit me with the ulti. Auto, Q. Whoa, swing and a miss, huh? Auto, W. Mordecai's are killed them all. Whoa. We're so juiced. We just won the game, Bob. How the hell did four- That was legit like 1v3 from Mordekaiser. Riftmaker. I didn't know you were built like that. Let's clean up that last Void Grub and then get a reset off. And, we, and we're, we're juiced, Bob. We got a Hubris stack right there. Um, we have that bonus AD from it. We have our form. We're good to go. No reason to stay on the map right here. Nice, and as we're entering level 9, we're going to have that Q max. That, again, that's our clear speed and that's our damage. And then we're looking for level 13. We need to keep farming and then keep building up our resources here. But now with the form, it's going to be a lot easier.
to capitalize on things. We're going to be able to farm faster. We're going to be able to show up and have bigger flanks faster because with blue form, one, you don't have to wait for the animation for your W. That speeds up the clear. And two, you get the E up more often. Its cooldown is way shorter at nine seconds. So that gives you way more mobility, helping you get to the camps faster. And when it comes time to fight, then it helps you get in position in the enemy jungle with the first E, and then you can use the second E to flank the enemy, where it's such a short cooldown. The worst thing you can do on blue cane is just cast your E and wa walk right at the enemy. That's the dumbest. Alrighty, so they see where I'm at, but that's okay. I have to assume this area is warded, so we'll jump over the wall and then into the enemy jungle eventually. There's a camp here. What do you want me to skip it? One minute on the dragon. E, moving. Q. Auto, W. Ulti. Q. Nice. Flash. Oh. Ugh. Four hundred damage. <laughs> the turret dealt twelve hundred. My bad. Whoa! Pantheon has Eclipse and Call Fields. That Q hits like a damn. Okay. Second item here. I'm thinking the Profane Hydra. That gives me quite a bit of burst. My only other options really would be things like Opportunity, Opportunity Ghost Blade. I just don't think I want those. I think I want a lot of Ability Haste and then a lot of AD. So then I can go Profane Hydra into Shirelda's, and all of these items give me AD, Lethality, and Ability Haste. With Profane Hydra specifically too, it gives you that Tiamat active. That then acts as another ability. So it can add to your total, your total combo's damage. And then if you can't execute a target off that, I mean L, but it is what it is. Alrighty, so they won the bot side, so they're going to be able to get that dragon. And once again, I can... I'm from around the way. I'm going to take something. I'm going to be taking his blue side camps for him getting that dragon. Nice. There's even the blue buff. Is Pantheon on my case? He exited left side mid. He hits that Scryer. Uh-oh. Ghost moving. Q. Don't play any games with that one. The second you think they're on their case, it's fine to use that Ghost. Jesus Christ, though. Three big guys running at me. Oh, noob alert. W, smite. Auto. I'm so dead. I thought Talon would, like, use an ability, but I happened to just run into Bran, the best champion of all time can't be caught out because he can EQ and stun you and then deal a billion and a half damage. Ulti. E. Q. Dead. Bro, Brand and Pantheon is such an annoying ass combo. Does it get any noober than that? Dude, even with Kane, like Kane farms fast. Kane is fast around the map. I didn't have time for Brand's blue side camps after they did Dragon. Adios. I need to farm, Bob. I need to get level 11. I need to give me this whole wave. Ah, that's two missteps that really slows us down. That bot death into that play. Phew. Nice, and that kills the wolf. Well, uh, Lulu's not here, big man. What are you thinking? Already twitch with a Bork. Easy enough. And Pantheon is here. Let's go. The E's going to expire pretty soon because I got poisoned by the Twitch. God, and I can't really guarantee where the Pantheon's going to go. Oh. Huh. You showed right there. That makes it easy. Welcome to Kane's world. Can't do nothing with these losing allies, huh? One in five mid lane. So all I have to do is play for... I mean, they're making it pretty obvious. Even if I want to go for a punish, 
like an individual punish for a play, it's not happening. So I can play around my strong members, which is Vayne and Mordekaiser. In the meanwhile, just farming and then react to plays instead. Uh, it would be more fun, it'd be more interactive, it would be uh, more realistic if I was able to do plays like that on those timings, but not this, not this game, not this time, the world's most fed pantheon. Look for a play, get ulted onto. Okay. Tiamat to the top side. We're on a pretty weak lull here. This is where Profane Hydra kind of sucks. Like a Tiamat active. This thing costs like 1200 for 20 AD as well. It's pretty whack. So, let's farm fast enough to get past that lull faster. We're going level 11. Another point in our ulti. And we're not looking for any play. We're simply going to react if the enemy makes a mistake and then punish them. Yeah, you think you can really hit that top lane turret, huh? Brand is somehow already on the case. Let me guess, my whole red side's warded or what? These guys are all grouped up, but like, I need to get a flank and they need to overcommit. I try to help wave clear, but there's no engage. Hey, okay. yes! Onto Vayne. Q. Auto. E. Ghost. Moving. Auto. Q. W. Oh, so close. Oh, if I hit the first part of my Q, I would have killed Pantheon for sure. Pantheon, where are you? I love you. Still a super good fight for us. Rakan finally goes in and shebang, it's easy. But it also requires the enemy to super overstep like that. But that's all we needed, Bob. Just that one play, bang. I got, I got some XP and I got some gold and we're good to go. Let me go ahead and clean up this top wave. The dragon's coming up, but that's okay. Mr. Kane, we play for our own resources. That dragon is a team effort, you know what I'm saying? More gold for me! Alrighty, then we got 25 on the hubris. Statue is blue. Let's increase that color. Um, What are we thinking, Merc Dreads? Merktreads helps me with the brand damage, the Lulu uh, Polymorph, and the Pantheon stun. It does delay some AD, so we're not investing into long swords there, but where I completed the Profane Hydra, I'm feeling pretty good. Merktreads just does not care, huh? W? Fight is just so scattered, damn. W. Auto, profane, Q. E, moving. To approach Olulu and Brand, I mean without my E, I'm gonna I'm gonna just be waiting here. So I wanna pull them into me. E, W. They're not biting, Bob. To my camps it is. That fight was okay. We got the dragon. It's just my Mordekaiser died. Got shut down. Not sure what to think about that. The basics just always re remain the same on Kane here, huh? Keep farming. Keep farming. Kill those camps, we kill them fast. With the Profane Hydras, I forgot to mention 60 AD, 18 lethality, 20 ability haste. That's quite a bit. Then you get this active. The active dealing way more than the Tiamat does. And the lower the enemy is, the more the active damage deals. They only have to be below 50% HP for that to be true as well. Lulu, you want to ward the jungle? Oh, my Rakan's not with me. E, moving. W, auto. Raccoon, please. Is free kill. On to Pantheon, eh? I kill. Alrighty, we're level 13. That gives us our W max. Big part of blue cane. Wait for the ulti so it doesn't bounce. Alrighty, so much for that. 
We have our W max that gives us more burst and then a little bit more juice. W. This guy's going to ult him, so I still don't have an in. So long that we avoid vision, we can't be autoed by Twitch. Oh, Mordekaiser dies to Bran. Map's just too scattered, Bob. I'll wave clear mid. That was so weird. Hello. W. Goodbye. Auto. Sorry guys, you can't have my mid turret. Buzz off. Oh. Got quite a bit of gold. Let's reset. Get our components. We'll just clear our top side and keep playing around that top side. With the Baron up, that's a contentious point. The components, I prefer the Brutalizer, just giving us a whole mix of stats. Last Whisper's cool and all, but it's kind of weak. What the fuck is the deal? So I'm looking to get a good fight, but a good fight for me looks like killing the Lulu, Twitch, or Brand. The Pantheon and Darius is not really my deal, but I don't get to choose where we fight either. Just follow up to where the enemy makes a mistake or where my team engages. Twitch, Lulu, where are you? There they are. Looking to attack the Talon question mark. Oh. Ah! Jesus Christ! He got all the way right there? Okay, well played to the Twitch on that one. Well, the map's just too scattered. This guy's farming, this guy's farming. It'd be much better to play together, personally. We got our play. I was trying to get out, but damn! I get ran down by Mr. Twitch, I tell you what. Tell you what, trying to shadow the bad player, that'll show me. Two and six talent, just get away from him. Last whisper, and since we didn't get a successful play, I don't have that whole Shereldas. I need that whole Shereldas. This thing, the last whisper to this, a whole lot more impactful. Now, come on now. I lose the Baron off just one little misstep. Come on now. It is what it is. Let's play for the dragon. Well, they're going to push with that Baron. I have my level lead, but I'm going to have to farm my camps right now to maintain it. As they push up, then I won't have the time to farm later. My team's like scattered once again and then reset, so I'm not going to move into their jungle. And if they don't do anything successfully on this push, I mean, I'm still pretty juiced. I can go level 16 off next clear, have my Shereldas completed, and then we'll just keep getting more of the lethality items after that. Easily going to be a Serpent's Fang. Chew through those Lulu shields. And also chew through that Sterex on the Darius. Clear speed is so good. Now, I can't really help them mid. So I might as well be in a side lane. Darius doesn't walk up an end here though. L. Wah! A bit much, boys. Shereldas and a bunch of longswords. Edge of Night doesn't sound too bad either. Do 
do my best to wave clear. As long as they can't end on this wave, it's okay. Really fighting, huh? I'm trying to stall the game, not really kill them. If they don't have a wave, they can't end, so. I pulled a wave right there. I never had an angle to go in. Got exhausted by a Lulu before I even touched a champion, so that really shows where the game's at. Try to investigate, see if someone's randomly overstayed. Okay, level 16. Now, if I was Twitch, I would try to engage mid here. Raccoon, did you even see me there? You got your ulti and everything. Saving it for what? Team's so annoying right now. Feels like the raccoon's not playing off me. Raccoon, I'm the fed one. We can do great things together. I'm gonna stay on the sidelines here, but like super far away since I have the E. But damn, they're going top. Clear this way fast, and then I'm waiting for my next E to have any sort of attack top lane. Raccoon, please. Raccoon, you can EW that guy. They're all scattered. Run! Pantheon wants to W me like no one's business. Oh, but you'll go in for the 2 and 7 Talon, you know what I mean? Oh, but Talon has a flank and you want to go in. Raccoon, when did I break your heart? When did I do you wrong? W. My team sucks, but that won't stop me. Raccoon's still not going in. Why is this guy farming? Okay, focus. On to Twitch. Nice. Easy. God bless America. And that's what we were waiting for, baby. I guess I'll just clean up uh, his blue side camps. Well, the dragon is coming up in 11, so let's just push mid. So what I'm waiting for there is for them, the enemy team to commit something, but where the enemy team was in those positions, pushed up, the Rakan could also ulti in. And while he, if he ultis in, then he starts the play. Because Rakan gets to go in and out. That's the juice of Rakan. Uh, but it, he wasn't going in. So that makes things super bad for Vayne, Kane, and Talon because these champs can't do fucking nothing until someone does something. Ideals. So all Rakan had to do was anything. Doesn't matter if he dies. Alright, 20 seconds on Baron. Let's go ahead and reset. Edge of Knight. Oh my god, what am I buying? We got Edge of Knight, we got Serpent's Fang. Thing is, Edge of Night is so good. I can actually survive. Hmm. Alrighty, if I miss like 200 damage because they got shielded, I guess I'll know if the build was bad or not. Now, Mordekaiser's bot, so. Play this low and slow. W. Oh, 
Oh, Baron's kicking my ass. Okay, I have no E for six seconds. Don't die. God, the wave clear is so hard. Hover just in case, man. There we go. W. Can't go in. Please! Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, my E cooldown. Damn. Damn, if I could have healed. I think the Rakan went in a little too soon, but I was like, let's follow up. It's now or never. He gets a double knockup onto Brand and Twitch, and that's going to set me up for both parts of my Q. If you hit both parts, it's way more damage. I mean, if I didn't have Edge of Night there, Bob, too, like, surely I'm just dead. And for my next funny item, like, what are we thinking? It's so much, like, mixed damage. We already have the one. It's Serrated Dirk, but <laughs> who cares at this point, honestly? It's Serpent's Fang. It's a Serrated Dirk and the Serpent's Fang. I was like, maybe I go more tanky. No. No, that's not going to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 3,400 damage. Congrats, Brand. Lame-ass champ. I pressed ulti. I pressed an unmissable Q. And then I pressed that funny W. Right now we have 388 AD. The hubris giving us... Who knows how much, it doesn't tell you. But we got the blue statue still. The camps right now is just basically towards my next item. The second people are up the map though, like this, then it's time to stop farming. Nice. Super big throw. Good knock up. Waiting for that Zonius. Ulti. Oh! Okay, thank god Pantheon didn't stun me. Uh, nice, we won! Push! GG. Super big throw by Twitch to be the one in front trying to force the play like that. His Darius, his Pantheon, his brand, everyone can play to frontline for him, but since he was in front, I mean, that seals the deal. It's too easy for us to engage, and he's not getting away. Not the way that I would thought that we would end this game, but that's what it takes, huh? Final score, 13, 4, and 7. Final bonus AD on Hubris, 45 as well. Damn. Damn, son. So, like, even if you're not using Hubris as, like, a snowball item, Bob, the stats are fine. All I need is a bunch of stats in the early game as Kane, anyways. Promoted to Masters, Mr. Krabs. Congratulations. Bob, this is my second account. I just play whatever on, and it's Masters on accident. All right, final damage dealt, 24,000. Damage taken 33, and then no CC score, obviously. God, that was a hard game. All I had to do was keep it slow and steady, though. Choosing when I go in, not taking any fight that's given, continuing to massively farm, Bob. Massively. We're looking for the levels, and we're also looking for a ton of items. We have the three item spike on Hubris, Profane, and Shereldas, but then the more items I can get after that is what's going to make me like the uber late game carry and as blue cane you keep scaling and scaling you never have to give up or concede the match even when it got super bad they were pushing our mid lane wave i'm not like you know desperate to pull the trigger i what i did was pull that wave into me and fucking leave <laughs> with the with the ghost i get the hell out of there you have so much mobility with the e that you get to play this fence sitting sort of game am i gonna go in am i not and the enemy team has to respect that so yeah, GG, that's Blue Kane. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.